Hello guys, it's good to be back, or? Well, let me tell you this. Many of you were expecting another episode of Blood Letter to 1 billion silver. But three weeks of the game, it was hard. I wasn't at my best and I died many, many times. After fourth death, I gave up the dream. I knew you were craving new video, so I tried Zero to Hero with Crossbow. And after full day of trying, being on the verge of finishing the challenge, I got killed by a bug. I had to give up again, wanting to try something new, something off meta. I played Zero to Hero with Broadsword. Never played that weapon before. It was hard, but fun. Needless to say, I didn't finish the challenge. Time was running out, clocks were ticking. I pulled out 5-4 carving sword gifted to me by my friend many many months ago. Awakened it with exact trades I wanted to bring you the best content you guys deserve. Welcome to my new video, Boiled with Sweat and Blood. It's good to be back, Lloyd. As I said, many of you expected the next episode of Bloodletter, so it is suitable to show why there is no next episode. Fight vs 648 for Bloodletter. He reset it twice before, but now I had bad start. Missed my E, he hit his. Stalker jacket was partially denied by his mercenary cavalry why I ate his fully. Buying some time for cooldowns. He's catching up, so I queue into him. Here I should have escaped from his stalker jacket. I should have used my E. I did my calculations later and it would kill him, but I hesitated. At least I used E a little bit earlier than he did, which got him in undead cape and I survived barely because of it. I tried to bait his E by mounting, he didn't buy the bait. I can't escape on my late awakened bloodletter, so I tried to swap spells for final trade. But unfortunately got hit by 3 which took totally around 400 HP from me and allowed him to use E earlier than I could have used mine. GG. Fuck. Literally minutes later with new set I got caught by surprise by 5483 masterpiece double bladed. Before I realized what is going on I lost 2 bars of HP. As I said 3 week vacation of Albion took its tax. I should have stayed and brawl with him. But instead, went away to buy time for my cooldowns, which was dumb decision, as with his Awakened double bladed, he will have them earlier. And my luck is incredible, as I aggroed Knight and got stunned in his swords, which helped double bladed to put me in undead cape. Running away was theoretically possible, but I wanted to stick and use WE combo when undead cape debuff ends. Unlucky for me, his stun was ready and I died again. Here I wanted to fight 5-4-7 triple of Baden who didn't want to fight fair so I had to dismount him using literally everything. As I had no boots, kiting wasn't optimal so I stick with him to match his damage. Baited his W with my W and turned back. Was ready to use E before his Martlock cape procs and finish him in cultist cavalry, but got surprised by a red letter, so rather turned away. Luckily, he procced my undead cape before execute, but dead givers joined the party and made the luckiest stalker hood reveal ever. And I died third time in less than 20 minutes. I was done for good. No fucking way this happened. Then I quit, dog. I had enough of this shit, man. As I mentioned, I tried to make content with Zero Team Hero oh with crossbow. God. Got already to 8-0 and was missing around 10 mil for 8 reset. This 8-1 kill would be perfect for my economy. He had bad W, so he can never catch with me. Got distance while he used his Inferno Shield. Guardian Helmet for his W and Hunter Hood to not let him damage me for free. Cleric Grove before Martlock Cape Prox. Health potion and boots, being ready to finish him with my E and dip so I don't get teamed on. My E managed to finish him so I got all the loot for me. Yes. Oh. 
Next day I continued, hoping I can finish the challenge in less than 24 hours. Met very nice full spec T raid overcharge Daybreaker, I was already in 8 1 set here, missing less than 6 mil for a 3 set. He had deflect on W, so I had to bait it with movement, looking like I want to Q him. Sometimes it worked, sometimes I had to ate one of my Qs as punishment for not being patient enough. He closed space with E, so I knew I can use my defensives freely, while he used Soldier Helm to not get damaged by my E, I used Guardian Helm for close combat trade. Cal drops and boots to gain distance again from his Inferno Shield. I knew he will use E as soon as I use my defensive, so I rather used Clary Grove immediately before my Martlock Cape procs, so he doesn't purge both. My Martlock Cape got procked by my Q into his deflect, but I was sure I can finish him. Guardian Helm to buy time for my E, Q for good measure and secure the kill in his undead cape. GG. Nice. Was very close to finishing the challenge. Here I was chasing tier 7 bat legs when from nowhere came 7 for 83 carving. Guess what? He dismounted with no 15 second cooldowns. What? What the fuck? I have no idea how is it possible when I was clearly in combat and he dismounted right on top of me. But I guess Albion just decided to screw me. I even lost first few seconds trying to overcharge, not realizing that I even forgot to buy Siphon Energy. Panic got the best of me and I looked like total dumbass in this fight, no comment. What the fuck was that? Because I just can't take this anymore. Next challenge was my friend's idea. Thank you Sarika for choosing the weirdest weapon for a hero to hero possibly broadsword. My super first fight with this weapon ever was versus 7 to dagger pair. He had not much specs but still had 400 more IP than I had. Well, I tried my luck. First few trades went terrible and I had to reset two times because his full stacked E nearly one shot me every time. My W's barely tickled him because tier 4 doesn't deal much damage into 7-2. The plan was to use as many W's as possible while dodging his Shadow Edge. He can never catch up as he was on Stalker Shoes. He lost patience and used E with no stacks, still taking one bar of my HP. Again, my double stacked E barely tickled him, lol. Here I saw he used E on mobs which were aggroed in him, this was my chance. He hit in Assassin Jacket. I should have done the same to be fair. Nearly got killed by his triple stacked E, my only luck was that his assassin jacket buff was gone. Well, as his only damage now are auto attacks, I went full unga bunga into him using everything I have including health potion which in the end saved me and I managed to kill 7 to dagger pair with 4 zero broadsword. It was promising start, but I didn't finish the challenge as broadsword lacks mobility so I got killed by every double bladed and blood letter I have met. let's go! Men prefer to fight with swords, so they can see each other's eyes. Before we get fully into the carving fun, I would like to pay tribute to this salty crybaby. I killed him fair and square, but guy trash told me for being failed content creator. Why is everyone mentioning it? I know it already by myself. Chill. Now let's get real, 6473 prowling, he didn't really want to fight so I used the ultimate bait, being scared. Using E immediately while he is still in his form to chunk fair amount of his HP. Forging his boots so he can't gain HP and distance. Mistblocker jacket for his third Q so I don't get true damage, denying him the combo. I used my W to secure him on place, Q into undead cape and E to secure nice money. 13 mil in my pocket, let's go. Versus 4473 bloodletter, it was really really nice awakened bloodletter. 
Blood Hunters are easy for carving if they don't swap their Qs. E to disengage from his obvious Stalker Jacket, W to hold him in place and let him think about consequences of his actions. Matching his boots. Making him nervous by using Sagehead, common tactic to make people fight for their ground. W E to keep him in combat. I don't care about this Stalker Jacket. Beast Walker Jacket for his premature cultist cover. Keeping my stacks on 3. Doing my signature move by missing Splitting Slash. Keeping my E to not lose stacks so I can catch up with him if he decides to leave the crime scene. He used E here so I know he has no execute for 20 plus seconds. Shouldn't forge his Stalker Jacket, should have keep it for his boots. Missing Splitting Slash, usual, matching boots, still keeping my E to finish the job. Weapon survived, which is great as it's worth at least 7 mil. Versus 4463 carving, again very nicely awakened. Surprised him in Abbey Dungeon, which gave me immensely good start. Matching E, purging boots. Buying time in my Mist Walker jacket for W execute. W didn't get him in added cape, so one more Q into E for another great cash out. Damn, I'm lucky with weapon surviving. Luck is again on my side. Versus overcharge, 6-3 dual swords. Dual swords are not easy versus carving. This guy even swapped his W so he can't get purged. Missing W, immediate E. Purging his stacks, Mist Walker jacket for his mercenary jacket. As I started with boots, bad decision, he gained space with his boots for free. So we start again. Dodge this E with my E, very good start. Unfortunately here I thought the sound is mercenary jacket, but it was his iron wheel which has nearly identical sound, so I wasted my push. Damn tree blocking my view. Not dodging his E with my jacket, rather keeping it for his mercenary jacket. Now I just finish him with W and E, at least I thought so. But this guy is good, he got away while using his E. Time for round 3. Purging his E wasn't the best decision, but I can always catch up with him if I can hit my splitting slash. Which I did, finally. He went towards the mob, I knew he wants to use his mercenary jacket, so I keep damaging him and as soon as he turns towards me, I hide in jacket. Job done, and again, well paid. GG. Pick me. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my pre-planned videos while I was on vacation, because I really enjoyed the 3 weeks of all the responsibilities. But let me tell you that getting back to the Albion and content creating was really, really hard. 
I struggled for good for days until I finally got the stuff I needed, so I really hope you liked the video. Let me know please in the comments if you did. Also for the next giveaway I prepared surprise for you in form of 7 days of premium and 2 very nice weapons, which you will surely like a lot. No spoilers, but both of them are masterpieces. Oh, another legendary, nice, two in a row, let's go. What? <laughs> you get a legendary mist and a legendary mist and a legendary mist and then you find a legendary mist and a legendary mist. Exactly, <laughs> wow, this is legendary exception. Now for the previous giveaway winners. Congrats for the first one, you won 5 for Blood Moon stuff and 7 days of premium. Also congrats for the other two winners, you won both 14 days of premium. Add me both in-game and on Discord, check the description of the video, so you can receive your rewards. Thank you for watching my videos and liking my content, if you are not subscribed yet, consider clicking that button, it means a lot to me. See you soon, your noob, Grinder.